So, my project today was to get this the WB1401 speaker working. Um, I'm at the uh, Ultra Aviation Society um, ROC display here today. Um, we have always had a carrier receiver here mounted on the wall, um, but we've never had it working. So, I thought today, after some good instructions from Gavin Saxby at Craigie Barnes Bunker in Dundee, uh, it told me how to get it working off our carrier receiver trainer. Um, so I had to do a bit of rewiring here as you can see we have uh, lots of cut wires so I have my personal, my own carrier receiver from home here which I'm gonna copy the wiring and try to, somebody's obviously has completely destroyed this at some point so I'm sort of bodging everything at the moment um, down on the speaker but the speaker's going and that is the proper confidence tank coming from this wire here goes all the way up through that hole up there all the way through here comes out there all the way to your CCP trainer so there's the wire then coming up over through here into the terminating unit and then wired into the same ones as this so as you can hear still going off the same so uh, if I want to I can set off the attack warning so I'll hit it and then run really quickly next door so uh, yeah let's do it There you go. And then we could do the pick up the handsets and do the spoken message then if we want to. But uh, yeah, happy days. I've actually got it working. So uh, this is quite nice. So a bit more jiggery pokery and get it all back together again. And that's me done. But uh, in principle, it works. So, okay, bye -bye. so we're done. A uh, bit of work had to be done. I had to replace all the wiring in this. Uh, completely change this one over to a new one um, because all the wiring had been cut and it was just too much work to resolder and everything. Um, the 12 volt feed comes out here, runs down power supply, I'll show you that in a minute. Feed from the CCP in the other room comes in here. Uh, I've done a bit of jerry rigging on this so it always plays a confidence tick. You don't have to push the test button, it always plays it. Um, and then just a bit, bit of extra wire in here. That wire actually doesn't go to anything anymore. Um, originally the CCP feed would have come in here. and These would have been the 50 volt uh, current as well from the telephone line to charge the battery in this for backup power. Um, so if we follow this down, under here you see you have a little power supply. So I'll turn that on. And there we go. There's the confidence tick. So I can turn it up. Or turn it off completely. Just leave it on one, just so it's going away in the background. Um, but that's it. Um, it was surprisingly easy. Um, Hopefully, once uh, Gavin at Craigie Barnes is able to get the little modulator sorted out, I will be able to get mine at home wired up and will be able to receive the signal from his CCP in uh, in Dundee. So, uh, hopefully that won't be in the new, next, not too distant future. So, uh, check back soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Warning 
red, attack warning red, 